Hello, welcome to lesson five here in Mastering Java. We're going to talk a little bit more about arrays, but we're going to learn about the instance variable associated with every array called length. And it's a, a useful thing that we can use for many different purposes. And it kind of illustrates one thing that sets arrays apart in Java from how you may be used to thinking of them if you're a C programmer or coming from another programming language. We all know that arrays are collections of, of like types of data, right, where we organize it under one name with many different locations. But one difference in Java is that an array is actually implemented as an object in Java. So even though we're using the indices to, to access the elements of the array, it's still implemented as an object. And associated with objects uh, in, in Java are uh, instance variables and sometimes methods and things like that. And we've discussed those items when we talked about object-oriented programming in Java. Well, I want to talk about a very special instance variable that's very useful. First, let's create a uh, array. So let's create an array to hold integer data and I'll say enter JSON and it's going to be a one-dimensional array so I'll just put a single bracket like that and I'm going to open a curly brace up and go ahead and put the data directly in. So four, five, and I'll just kind of put some commas and a bunch of numbers here. Okay. Now we could certainly count the number of elements here and we can figure out how many elements are here but I think you're your eyes will cross trying to count all of these things. And what if we put lots of additional elements in here? What if we put like 55 more or whatever? You, you know, it'd be kind of a, a pain to count them all to figure out how many elements are in our array. Because as we know, if we try to go past the end of the array and access an element outside of the array, we get problems in Java. So here, uh, we all know that we can, of course, print this out. We can say system.out.out print ln. We can print an element of this array out very easily by just saying, for instance, j 